He's like, how did you get in here? <laughs> what is up, guys? I am BG Mike. Today we have a very special, kind of special episode of Hello Neighbor because it's not going to be normal at all. In fact, uh, I'm not really going to be playing the game as much as, as much as I'm trying to actually find secrets. For those of you that are subscribed to me and watched my last video, you noticed that I really wanted to try to get in here, uh, inside the house up here. I was like trying the trash can glitch. And basically, like, I was wondering what would happen if you can get inside the house before the tutorial because they made it to, to where you can't get in. So I just want to see exactly what happens. And now I actually have a way to do it. And let me give a little shout out to someone who deserves the recognition. Uh, so thanks to the YouTuber Greenhouse uh, M13, he actually made, he made a video and I came across it because I was interested to see, like, I mean, is there ways that we can travel like outside of the map and do, you know, interesting things like that so we can maybe uncover some secrets for maybe the future of uh, Hello Neighbor? But anyway, he put out a video and he used a program called uh, Cheat Engine, which, I mean, it's exactly how it sounds. It's super, super complicated crap. In fact, I've been here for an hour or two just learning how to use the program myself. But he was actually nice enough to make this more simplified, so he actually made videos about it and uh, was, you know, telling people basically how to do this. And I was able to, you know, go ahead and catch on myself. So because of what Greenhouse uh, M13 did, uh, we can actually get inside the house. In fact, we can go up or down any direction we want. So that really means that we can go through barriers and stuff like that. So we're actually just going to teleport our way inside of the house, basically. And again, it wouldn't be possible without his help because I know nothing about this stuff. I was even, I was lucky enough to get as far as I did. So we're going to mess around with it, this build. Guys, be sure to check out his channel because he knows a lot more about this. So I'm I'm sure that when the new future builds come out uh, and I will be clueless and he, he will know what to do so if you guys are interested in keeping up on secrets of Hello Neighbor check out his channel anyway let's get started Mr. Ferguson I know I know that you're hiding crap from me in there you think I won't come in there I will straight up teleport inside of your house you don't believe me I have teleporting powers uh, anyway it's a bit confusing how to use this program but I, I'm seriously just lucky that I figured it out this far. But anyway. Ah, we worked! <laughs> hey, we're inside the house. Like, I was always wonder why, why is it that we cannot get in this house? I mean, in reality, we can actually get in the basement. We can get into the basement without having to do anything before the game even starts. So we'll definitely try that in this episode as well. But I want to see if Mr. Wilson is actually in here. And what the heck? This chair is floating. <laughs> what is it blocking? What are you doing, chair? I don't really know how, a way how to explain how this program exactly works, but everything you do in this game, a set of values is constantly moving. So if I'm stepping in one direction, then that means this, there's actually a location. There's a set of numbers for this location. And each time I take a step and move, that number goes up. And depending, you know, if I go backwards, it's going to go down, sideways. You know, it's basically how it is. So if we change the value to say, okay, so let's see. I'm against this wall, so the number starts with like 328, and when I move this way, the number is going down. Uh, it's a big number, that's why I'm not really saying it. But if I just figure out, okay, so I need to increase the value of the number going this way, then I could just increase it, and that will make me outside of the wall. I don't know if that's confusing to you guys, but that's basically how it is. It is very confusing, I'm not gonna lie. So let's uh, check the house and see if we can find Mr. Wilson anywhere. I want to see if he's here. I, I could have swore you could hear him walking around, though. He's like, how did they get inside my house? I straight up blocked everything. <laughs> well, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, or Mr. Ferguson, I like to I like to personally call him Mr. Ferguson because I feel like it fits him really well and it's just something I came up with. He's gonna straight up flip his lid. He's going to do backflips because I'm in his house when I'm not supposed to be. See, we can actually hear the music playing, so maybe that means he is in here. Let's look around. Hopefully we can go up, but if not, I know how to go up. Oh, so I want to make it to where the shark... Let's turn off the incinerator. Or turn it down. Let's, let's put it on cool mode. Because I don't want to mess with the shark. Can we still mess with that? It's just... It's fun. It's, it's cool because we're just not supposed to be in here. We're breaking all of the rules. Yay, we're free to go. I'm just wondering if he's like chilling out somewhere. I would love to see it. Now another random chair. What are these chairs doing? Ah, stop it. Is Mr. Wilson teaching in here? <laughs> no. No, so, so far it's pretty much the same. It's just blocked off. That's all. Oh, oh, I want to see if we can go up here on the third floor. Oh my god, you freaking mannequin always scare that mannequin scares me all the time Always giving me jump scares 
Hey, what is this room? What's in here again? Oh, it's just the... It's just the bathroom. Okay, I, I just actually forgot. <laughs> so this is where the bathroom's at. All right. Hey, I see Mr. Wilson passes up the hole. Except not when it counts. Not when we're actually supposed to play the game. He, he wants us to break our ankles. Well, breaking your ankle is not very fun. I have done it in real life, IRL, guys, and it sucks really bad. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good at all. Oh God, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be so scared if he's just like chilling out, and all of a sudden he starts chasing me. He's like, "How did you get in here?" Ah! <laughs> oh God, I'm so glad I captured that moment. <laughs> We were literally just talking about like what would happen if he was just chilling out and so this is him You know before the tutorial he just stands He just stands here apparently he's blind or he's like hey, I, I you know we're, we're not supposed to do this yet We're not supposed to be chasing each other yet and by chase each other I mean him chase me down like a freak so this is interesting. He just stands here I guess they have to have him doing something you don't mind you don't mind if I go in here, right? You don't, you don't care. All right. We'll just go in here I, you know what? In the real game when I play, I don't actually try, I haven't tried to like, mess with these. I guess it turns off the cameras and stuff, but I don't know if he actually comes in here and looks at them or not. To be honest, I haven't played this game, like, a lot, a lot. I mean, I love this game. It's really, really fun. And I definitely won't be using this. Like, of course I'm gonna make, like, regular episodes where I actually play the game right, because I, I really do enjoy this game a lot. I'm just doing this because I'm straight up curious, you know? There's only so many times you can play the game before, you know, it's just not fun. I'm just waiting for them to update the game. But for now, we need to uncover all the secrets. Okay, so... Now, I'm gonna see if it's possible to get to the third floor and what happens. I, I'm gonna say it's not possible, but we'll see. I think I may know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, hopefully this works. Oh! Whoa! You see that, guys? We were, we were totally up there. Let's just try to go up there again. Whoa! Oh, wait! We can't do very much, though. We gotta do that again. Oh wow! I love your third floor. It's amazing. I love how we have these these like gigantic houses, but we can do nothing like with them. Like <laughs> we have all this empty space. Mr. Wilson's trying to compensate, Mr. or Mr. Ferguson or Mr. Wilson. It doesn't matter, all right? I know I go back and forth. <laughs> I, I, does, am I, does that does that make me crazy? But if we try to move, this happens. So that's really really cool. Um, now I want to see what happens if we try to go up over here. I mean, I'm afraid the game's just gonna glitch. That's probably what it's gonna do. And it'll just crash and burn. He's like, I just don't feel like chasing you right now. I'm resting. This is how I sleep. Oh no. What is the game doing? The game is freaking out. I think I'm stuck in the floor, but to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> what is going on? This is way too creepy. Can you stop? I don't appreciate this. This is really freaking me out. Yeah, the game is really lagging now. I think it, it we were not supposed to do what we did, and now we are like totally just, what the heck is going on? But now I want to see, oh, could you stop shaking? Would you stop gyrating, please? I'm sure Greenhouse M13 has done this, so guys, be sure to check him out because I'm sure he explored a lot more than I do. Like, like I said, he knows a lot more about this stuff than I do. The fact that he figured this out was pretty genius, <laughs> you know, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, I want to personally see what is in the basement. Oh my god. Oh, we're so high, but now it's very weird. Very, very weird. We may have to restart the game, but that's okay. Oh, hey, wait, we're actually moving around. I just realized it. Uh, it's like we're never gonna hit the ground. Oh my god. I, I pressed a random, I basically put a random number in and now we are, we can see the actual coffin. Wow. But the glitch seemed to stop. At least I hope it did. It's really scary. Don't like it very much, guys. Whoa, hey, hey, we're all of a sudden here. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you be freaked out if someone started walking towards you like this? Like, all crazy. It's like, hey, Mr. Ferguson. <laughs> Get away from me, you monster! Another really cool thing we do is enable basically a speed hack to like go really, really fast. And <laughs> oh my god, it'd be fun to kind of play the game like that. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh god, does that mean that Mr. Wilson though is this fast? That would be freaking like ridic. Whoa, we are going so fast. The frame rate is really low, but we are going so fast. <laughs> I know there's a second house that we can see, which I can see it from here. I've never checked it out uh, myself. I know you can actually use the trash can glitch for this, but I really wonder why is it? Why is it that there's two, like, two places? Like, there's this leftover house, and 
you know, there's this. I don't, I don't get it. But you can definitely see this is, holy crap, this is where the shark is supposed to be. I, I, I can see. Why is our car so small? <laughs> I don't know why, guys. I want to try to get in here and see what's behind this. Because I think this is where the cutscene plays. Because that, it looks really bright. It definitely looks like this is where the cutscene plays. And that's probably why that house is there. You know, when when we see that cutscene where he does the weird thing with the whole car garage thing, I'm sure that's exactly what happens. Uh, I also noticed that we can't grab anything. Like the TV, for instance, you can't do anything with it. That's weird. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm still really new at this, guys, but... Uh, also, there's a room down here, but I think this is actually if I could be mistaken But I'm pretty sure that this room that's down here is the carnival part where you actually have to hide from the neighbor I think that's what it really is But it's really interesting to see like what they hide from you as the player like what's what goes on behind the scenes um, I, I just think that's really super interesting. Well, hey, hey, we did it <laughs> Whoa, like when we play video games, we don't really think like that, everything is all in one world. And I don't know if it's like this for all video games because I don't, I'm not a person that makes video games obviously, but even things like Yandere Simulator, like things that are in the game are just far away in the same area. That's what they, what they, what they really like. But like I said, I don't know much about game making, but I know that some games are like that, like Yandere Simulator. Last episode I played this, I actually got stuck here. I really wish I could have used this whole thing <laughs> and got out. Whoa, that's pretty, that is pretty. So this is supposed to be like a really far away Ferris wheel, you know? See, it's all about perspective, guys. They lie to you. <laughs> this is not a Ferris wheel. Okay, so I was trying to get into the basement. There's some walls that it seems like you can't really pass. So you gotta find walls that you can pass. So now I think if we tried in the kitchen, then maybe we'll make it in there. Ah, uh, here we go again. Okay, we're starting to sink in there. Maybe we can get into the basement. That's what I really want. Oh, hey, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! Still, there's nothing in the basement. Oh my god, if it would just stop gyrating like a crackhead, I could talk. It's literally no different than the original game. There's still absolutely nothing in this basement. Now we really know, because you know how it kind of trolls you and then he buries you at the end? Well, that's that's it. This is it, guys. I stopped the shaking. <laughs> uh, I had to change something in the program to make us stop shaking, but that's that was interesting. What the heck? He's gone! What? Remember guys, we checked! He's totally gone! Does that mean he spawns somewhere else every time? Uh, would you stop it, Cher? I wanted to like check on him and see how he was doing, you know? I kind of missed him just a little bit. I wonder if he moves around. Oh my god! <laughs> that is freaky! That literally gave me goosebumps. It reminded me of freaking PT, man. <laughs> you can't be doing that to me, Mr. Wilson. You can't. You just can't. I think this also explains why sometimes, like one time I played this game and he's been in the back of the house just standing there. And so I think that has something to do with that. He spawns somewhere else every time. <laughs> Throw mannequins at him. Take your picture frame, no one wants it. Okay, before we end this episode, guys, I want to try to see what happens if we actually get in the basement by using the key normally, like like you would play in the real game. What, what would actually happen? Would the cutscene still initiate or would he try to stop you? I don't know. Let's find out. We're gonna need a jackhammer for this, though. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna borrow your jackhammer, Mr. Ferguson. Hope you don't mind. He's like, I don't. Get out of here. <laughs> Stupid chairs. Who do you think you are? Uh, Real Leafa, a person that uh, I've talked to before and they actually know a lot about this game, they said that the mannequins are actually haunted. I don't know if there's any evidence to support that, but I really believe it because they seem to be here purposely just to scare you and they actually do move on their own. It's happened to me twice now where the mannequins just start moving on their own. And it usually follows with the nip and the, the, the paper planes. I don't know why that scares me. It shouldn't scare me at this point. I already know about it. Okay, so let's see if we can still get the gun this early on in the game. Is it just me? Are they throwing more paper planes than usual? Like a lot of paper planes and crap. Wait, I'm so stupid. I'm like trying to get the gun. But for some reason, when we put numbers on here, it falls off. I don't know if there's another reason that's causing that. But yeah, so you guys, it just falls right off. I guess we're not meant to do this. <laughs> Alright, take the numbers! There's so many paper planes from coming from the ghosts. Those ghosts are straight up delinquents, man. I totally forgot, we don't even need anything else but the jackhammer. <laughs> we could just teleport, that's it. It's not cheating, guys. I'm in a closet. Alright, okay, as if it wasn't freaky enough, we're in here now. Okay, so now we can just get this out of the way. Hopefully we can still get the key. Um, I don't really know if we can. We just straight up bypassed everything, didn't we? 
Oh my god! <laughs> I watched him flying. Okay, the only problem that I have is that, okay, so we got the bear. I forgot that we actually need to put the, the bear in the fire, right? And so then the key comes out. All right, so hey, we can do that. Hopefully the key still comes out. I wanna see what happens. Like, this is really interesting, guys. So interesting. Now we're in here again, but I don't see any key. I don't think that it's gonna let us get the key this early because we can't even get the gun. And if we can't get the gun, then we can't go through the normal process. Right? But still, you know, it was interesting to try. At least we know now that you can't do it. But I thought maybe something crazy would happen. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end that episode there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed messing around and trying to see, you know, some secrets about Hello Neighbor. Because this game, ever since I started playing it, it's really fascinating. And I think the whole fascination about this game is the fact that it has a bunch of secrets. And so now that I have a way to kind of look at secrets, it's very interesting. If I missed anything or there's anything else you guys would like to see me try in the next episode, uh, please be sure to leave that in the comment section down below. If you guys like Hello Neighbor and you want to see more uh, from me, then be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and I also play like things like Gandary Simulator and other games too, anything that interests me pretty much. And you can join Scrubville, that's what I call our little community here, and it's really, really amazing to see all you guys' support, so thank you for that. I'm BJ Mike, and I will see you, Scrubs, in the next episode of Whatever I'm Doing. Bye, guys.